Yo, what's up? This your boy Derek Branch here at Strike7Sports.com. And today I want to real quickly uh, recap uh, last night's game between the uh, Memphis Tigers and St. Louis Republicans. Uh, Memphis went on the road once again, down 55, take on, to take on uh, the St. Louis Republicans. They uh, fell short, unfortunately, by a score of 90 to 84. Um, Hall for a game by Memphis just came up short in the end and if you're a Tigers fan and watch this video you shouldn't feel bad you shouldn't feel bad you should feel um, encouraged to be honest because this is a really good Memphis team it just came up short it fought hard we saw a lot of things yesterday you know that game that compared to last year's you know teams and yeah, teams prior to that, you know, probably would have um, let his league get out of hand. But Memphis fought hard, man. And, um, you know, going into the you know, they started off, you know, with um, St. Louis, you know, being really aggressive. Um, pretty much, they pretty much dominated Memphis in the paint, to be honest, if we're being honest about it. But, Despite all that, Memphis fought hard in this game. Fought hard to get back into it. Um, Yuri Collins of uh, St. Louis is might be one of the best point guards in the country. You know, he was, played a big part in why St. Louis uh, won this game. Him along with um, Gibson uh, Jimerson. He had 18 points. Yuri Collins had 22. But... Yuri had nine assists in this game, three rebounds, um, three defensive rebounds, three uh, rebounds, um, one steal, uh, two or three, and uh, no, four hit four of seven, uh, not four of seven, two or four uh, from the uh, three point line. Gibson Jimerson had was four of seven from the uh, three point uh, line. He had eighteen points, and. They had a good uh, contribution from their bench, but they pretty much, um, you know, I would say did a good job of rebounding, uh, out rebounding Memphis. You know, they had 29 defensive rebounds. Memphis had uh, 24, but. The big thing is, um, the biggest factor was that takeaway was that they pretty much they dominated Memphis in the paint. Uh, Memphis, uh, they gave up a lot of points in this game uh, defensively, but St. Louis may be better than what we think they are, and they'll definitely be ranked after uh, last night's game. And it may, I won't be surprised if they make a run. You know, the good team may win the uh, A10, Atlantic 10 Conference, off to a three and start. Tigers are one and one, but um, there's a lot to take away from this game, and a lot and feel encouraged about it because this may not be the most talented Memphis team, but it's, it may be one of his best. It may be one of Penny Hardaway's better teams, you know, as a team wise, veteran wise, and that may put, that's going. I think this is going to go a long way, you know. And Jonathan Lawson, I know everybody was saying it last night, you know, may need to have more minutes going forward. He was uh, two of three, um, three pointers. Overall had eight points, uh, played 17 minutes. Even we may need more minutes going forward. Uh, Jane Hardaway came through last night. Um, didn't have a, a good game from Lomax. You know, he had uh, six assists though, but three steals. Um, scoring and scoring the point, he's had two points. So it was all like a sort of an off night. Halo, but he still came through, played hard. Kendrick Davis had another big night, 18 points, um, three uh, rebounds, two two defensive rebounds, one block, one steal, four assists. Uh, Keyota Kennedy was um, huge as well, 10 points. Um, you know, played 21 minutes. You know, uh, Two defensive rebounds, two offensive rebounds. DeAndre Williams right now, I would say, between him and uh, Kendrick Davis was uh, are the best players on this team. Seven to nine uh, free throws, um, 29 minutes, 21 points. 
12 rebounds, 3 assists. The guy is just an all-around player right now, power forward. And I could think, I think an argument can be made that he is probably one of the best power forwards in the country right now in college basketball. I know it's still early in the season, but his name should be mentioned among one of the best at, at the position. Definitely in, in, the, in, the, um, in the American, in the, in the conference. But all four games by Memphis, you know, they just came up short. And this is what Penny Hardaway wanted. You know, he wanted uh, the team to, you know, face, you know, stiffer competition outside the conference, and they're getting that. Now, the thing is, they just can't, they can't let this go by the wayside and go and, li and limp into conference play with a losing record, with, you know, struggling. They got uh, VCU next, and um, at home, which is the uh, home opener um, this Sunday. I believe it's a 4 o'clock, 4 p.m. Uh, Central tip-off. But they got VCU next, Seton Hall, UNA, Ole Miss, a little University of uh, Little Rock. Then that big one against Auburn in, uh, down in Atlanta, if I'm not mistaken, in Atlanta. But... Um, I want to feel bad about this, you know, we'll be encouraged because this, this looks like, uh, look like a really good Memphis basketball team. You know, I picked them to be, go to Sweet 16 and see how everything play out from there, but just fell short yesterday, you know. Dom they got dominated in the paint, you know. Yuri Collins, like I said, is probably one of the best point guards in college basketball. 22 points. Combined with um, Gibson, uh, Jimerson's uh, 18 um, was like a lot, you know, to, uh, they did a lot. That was a lot. That was enough to, like, hold off Memphis for the most part. But Tigers came rolling back, you know. That thing, it was 47-43 going into the half. And I, like the, I thought the game was going to be, you know, lost because down the stretch in the um, second half, um, St. Louis built off a had a built up a huge lead, and when I couldn't, I turned it back on. You know, Memphis had it. You know, close, had it real close. Could have tied it. I believe it was Kendrick Davis that drove in. He missed the, the shot, and uh, they got it. Uh, St. Louis got it back, and then it was a you know matter of uh, making free throws, and that pretty much closed the game out for um, St. Louis. But Tigers will be back in action uh, this Sunday against uh, VCU home opener, and hopefully they can get a win. You know, um, good team, and you should be encouraged by what you saw last night if you're a Tigers fan. So we'll see how it's gonna play out going forward. All right, that's all I have for y'all for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. How you feel about yesterday's loss to uh, St. Louis? Also in the description box below. Check out Strike7Sports.com for the latest content on the Memphis Tigers football and basketball programs, along with the NFL and NBA content. Have a blessed day. Peace. I'm out.